You are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Yes, yes. Yes, we are back. Now, I, was, I thought this was about to be a whole article, but I was going to start off with Georgia. Let's talk about Georgia. This is the first thing that come up. I don't care. Y'all going to be like, what the? Be on the lookout for the bullshit. Okay? Highest rate of STDs and AIDS. Okay? Y'all like, damn, why she want to go and do that? Y'all better strap up out here. Georgia State case is on the rise. The video won't play for me for some apparent reason. They like. Well, new tonight, sexually transmitted oh. disease cases continue to soar across Georgia. The rapidly growing numbers have captured the attention of state lawmakers who held wow. a special meeting to discuss the issue and possible solutions. Fox Five's Joy Dukes has the story. But yeah, cases of gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis have increased by more than 20% in the state of Georgia since 2017. As state mm -hmm. lawmakers who attended Monday's public health committee meeting say it's an alarming trend they want to see turn around. As you can see, our actual case counts for STDs have mm -hmm. increased. Nice since 2017. A sobering set of statistics for state health officials who say STIs are on the rise in both young and older people in Georgia and have been steadily increasing over the last six years. You have communicable diseases rates going up and people don't seem to understand how they can cause serious problems. At a committee hearing led by Republican State Representative Sharon Cooper Monday, Georgia public health officials revealed cases of gonorrhea jumped by 40% chlamydia by 11 percent and syphilis a whopping 75 percent since 2017 as the state remains in the top five percent for most new cases of hiv the rates are rising and we needed to hear from public health department about what they were doing what they thought we could do cooper says the pandemic made the already existing problem worse coupled with unsafe sex practices and people not getting checked. It's a concern that has crossed party lines. The party lines. Democrats and Republicans on the public health committee were, were concerned about this. This is not a partisan thing. This is not a black thing. This is not a white thing. This is a healthy Georgia thing. Democratic State Representative Teddy Reese tells Fox 5 he believes access to information and preventative measures, especially in the black community, is a big part of the problem. And to remove some of the restrictions as it relates to um, authorization of medication through Medicaid, that's something we can do on the state level. And, and Cooper says the goal is to try and introduce possible legislation to combat this trend during the upcoming legislative session next year. That's the latest here at the state capitol. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. Get this numbers since. Let's press pause. Um, the numbers went up um, probably 100,000 um, each year from 2027. Looking at these. Whoa, gonorrhea went from 22,000 in 2017 to 31,000 in 2022. Um, yeah, the numbers did go up. What I will say is you said it's across party lines. Yeah, because they having sex party lines. I'm just going to keep it real. Georgia is like a free love. Y'all going to get mad, but it's turning to Sodom and Gomorrah. Be mad. Be fucking mad. Because you have men just with women, women with men all together at the same time. I told you, I was even, um, you know, uh, what do you say? Was somebody try to hit on me? I don't know. It says some reckless. Y'all see how a stick in the mud I am? Y'all see my spirit? Y'all see how I am? The person had a nerve to ask me, did I want to go to a sex party out here? So not only do I got to be worried about possibly getting locked up and going to a Fulton County jail or getting on papers out here, I'm just keeping it real, but you got to worry about STDs, STIs, and all uncommunicable diseases that you cannot get rid of. I know y'all going to come here free love, people looking good, booty implants, this, that, and the third, big titties, you better strap up, okay? 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to share that on here. Usually I save that for nurses to nurses, but Houston, we got a motherfucking problem because they've been had a problem out here. And I'm so glad, that's what God made me glad that I'm a damn stick in the mud. I done told y'all and I lead by example. I can talk to shit, I'm abstinent, okay? I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting to be married. I do got two kids, but I'm waiting for my husband. If God says it's right, because these motherfuckers are here, it's scary. I used to be like, no, something's not right. And y'all know I'm from a hood from where they where that trap music that that um drill music came from. Them thugs, them undercover thugs too. They was over there being undercover thugs. I ain't about to play with y'all. All this free love shit. 